If the synthesizer is being regularly used, it will need a full clean every month. This consists of the following. Up to two system washes, cleaning all amino acid bottles, replacing old reagents, replacing reagent and amino acid bottle filters, testing for clogs, and archiving data. To prepare to clean the synthesizer, parafilm and store any leftover amino acids and make sure all wash vessels are in place. Remove all of the amino acid bottles and replace them with wash bottles. Replace all of the reagent and solvent bottles with wash bottles except for the DCM bottle. During a system clean, DCM is run through all of the lines to wash out any residual reagents and clear out any clogs in the lines. The DCM bottle, therefore, needs to be full before any system clean. Make sure all of the amino acid bottles, reaction vessels, and reagent bottles are in place and completely sealed. Under Operations, under Cleaning, select System Clean. Normally, after a synthesis, you would wash the reaction vessels and run a nitrogen backflush. The System Clean program, however, runs those steps in addition to the rest of the programs listed underneath it to make a very thorough clean. When this program is selected, it will automatically begin pressurizing the system and running the cleaning steps. While the system clean runs, bring the amino acid, reagent, and solvent bottles into the lab. The capping bottle needs to be dumped, rinsed with water, and allowed to air dry. The other reagent should be inspected for precipitates, or clumps, in the bottles. If you find any, the reagent should be dumped, rinsed, and air dried. If the reagents don't contain any precipitates, they don't need to be disposed of. Wash the amino acid bottles with water, ethanol, water, then ethanol again, and let them dry. Once the system clean is complete, the wash bottles will have collected DCM and any residual waste from the lines from the system clean. Dump out this waste and remove the old filters. Rinse the line and adapter with ethanol. If there appears to be any clogs, you can squirt the ethanol up the line. If this doesn't remove the clog, you can run nitrogen through the line. For example, if you want to run nitrogen through the amino acid line number 9, open the diagnostics window and select N2 for nitrogen, the SB, then the RB button above the block containing the amino acid number 9, then button AA9, then the bottom RV button, and RV4. Think about pressing the buttons as if opening valves in order. You should be able to feel the nitrogen coming out of the line if it is unobstructed. To turn off the nitrogen, either select the buttons in reverse order or press close all valves. Dump the waste from the reagent wash bottles and replace the filters. Carefully remove the calibration reaction vessels and dump the DCM into waste before putting them back on. If there are a lot of clumps and precipitates collected from the wash, or if the first system clean had errors because of clogs, you should run another system clean. During the second wash, the waste should appear much cleaner. Once the clean is done, dump the waste, put the original bottles back in place, and close the nitrogen tank. The last thing you will need to do is archive the data on the computer. Sometimes you will see a notification reminding you to archive data when you open the program. Make sure you are logged in before going to Tools, Database, and Archiving All Data. This will only take a few minutes to complete.